What's going on? Thanks for tuning in here again with Pristine Vending. If you're into vending machines and or wonder how the vending machine business works, then before this video goes any further, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You'll be locked in with me to see how I run my vending machine business on a daily and not to mention you'll become a new member of the Hustle family. Today, I'm going to three of my locations to do February cash collections on four of my machines. That makes four vending machines total that I'm doing a one month collections on today. The first location I'm going to is about 30 minutes from me right now and it's at a community center slash church. I'll meet y'all there. And here we are, my first location. So let's go on and get everything unloaded and get in there. Before we get into these one month collections, if y'all are looking forward to seeing how much these machines brought in, y'all be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Let's get into it. I want to show y'all this hand truck. Good thing about this is if you got a tote like I was, you can lay it flat like this and carry it like that. Or you can pop this out. This is what I do to transport it anyway. Pop that out and then just pull the handlebar. And it come right out like that. And it becomes your orthodox hand truck. Once you put the handlebars back in. I need both hands, one second. And there it is. And that's how I move it but I highly recommend you getting one of these type of dollies if you're gonna be in a vending machine business. And that wraps up our first location. We're just getting back in the Jeep. So let's check out what we brought in for the month of February at this location. All right, check out that chain. Loads up and I bet you I'm gonna find some golden dollars in there. At this location, I'm always finding at least two. Oh, there's one right there. Spoke it up. So that's the change. And now check out the bills. Hey, that ain't too bad. Plenty of fives in there. So I'm going to count it all up at the end of the video. And this location does have a credit card reader. So I'm going to have that at the end of the video also. It's our first location. So we're on a location number two, which is a church slash community center. It's the same franchise as this one, but it's at a different location. So I'll meet y'all there. 15 minutes later, here we are at my second location, the church slash community center. So judging by the parking lot, it looks like it may be kind of packed in here. So I may not be able to film the cash collection for y'all, but I'm going to try my best too. So let's get in there and see. So after speaking with some of the employees at this location, it's been verified that some of the kids are reaching their hand through the bottom door here and stealing the snacks on the bottom row. So for now on, I'm gonna leave that bottom row empty until I can find a solution for this. If you know any solutions, please let me know down in the comments. So y'all saw that big stack I pulled out of here, but because I left the money in here so long, it caused the bill validator to jam. The bill mag only gets to a certain capacity, so once it gets too full, it won't accept any more money, and that's the case here. So I had to unjam it before I left. Alright, that wraps up our second location. 
So check out what it brought in for the month of February. Check out all that change just for one month. When I went to go pick up the change bucket, I almost dropped it on the floor. It was so heavy. Check that out. And then all the bills for the month of February. That's why the bill validator got jammed. It got too loaded. Yeah, I don't think I could do this one for the one month anymore. I'm gonna have to come by here weekly and empty this one, make sure that bill jam doesn't happen again. So that wraps up here at our second location. Before we move on to our third spot, we're gonna take a quick lunch break. It's about time for my girlfriend's lunch break at her job. So I'm gonna go meet her at her job and we're gonna go have a quick bite to eat. So I'm gonna be right back with y'all once I catch up with her. What's going on? Guess who I got with me? Got my girlfriend with me. So let's go ahead and get this bite to eat. We're gonna go ahead and probably get some tacos and burritos. We out here at Moe's right now. Meet y'all on the inside. Right, time to feast. Taco time. I'm gonna get back with y'all after we get done eating. All right, y'all. Now's the time to say bye to Chels. Bye. It being real. Catch you next time. Everybody wish her a good day at work. All right, y'all. So we're getting back to the locations now. I'll meet y'all at the third spot. And here we are at my third and final location. So this is a warehouse break room that we're going to and I have two vending machines located here. It's a drink machine and a snack machine. I'll meet y'all on the inside. Hustle fan, we're back here from our last location. Let's see what these two machines brought in. This gray bag is gonna be the money from the snack machine, and this blue bag is gonna be the money from the drink machine. So let's get into it and see what we got. The one month bounty for the snack machine. So first up, we're gonna get into the snack machine. Check out what the snack machine made for the month of February and change. And then the bills. It did an all right job on the bills. It could have been more, but I'm happy with that. I'm going to add it all up at the end. So I'm going to put this one up and get into the drink machine bag. And here's what the drink machine brought in and changed for the month of February. Green change. All right, and here's the bills. Judging just from the bills, the drink machine did much better than a snack machine, but that's usually going to be the case in most scenarios. All right, and I'll put this up until later. All that's left now to do is to get back to the lab so I count up the money made from these four machines in one month. I'll meet y'all there. What's going on, guys? So we're not quite back at the lab yet. We're going to make a quick stop in the Staples. I know you saw all that change I pulled out of the machines today, so there's no way I'm trying to count all that. So I'm running here and see if they got a nice coin sorter for me in here that ain't going to charge me an arm and a leg. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And we back in the Jeep. And you see that we do got it. So it's paid for. We're going to go ahead and get back to the lab now. And look, that was a pretty cool visit to the store. I got to talking to the cashier. He asked me, was this my name on my charm here? Man, not too many people actually know what this is. If you know what this is, 
I would be highly surprised. But if you know what this is, leave it down in the comments and I'll let you know if you're right. Of the two and a half years that I had this thing, he's probably the second person to ever bring this up in conversation. So I just found that to be pretty cool. But hey, back to the money. We're going to catch up with y'all at the lab. First up is bag A, and this is the bag from the church slash community center. So the snack machine here brought in $121 cash, $31.05 in change, and $45 in credit card sales for a total of $197.05. And next up is bag B. This is the bag from the other church slash community center, and check out how heavy this bag is. This bag is about to bust. So the snack machine at this location brought in $155 cash, $120.35 in change for a total of $275.35. And next up is our gray bag. This is for the snack machine at our third location. So the snack machine here brought in $46 cash, $49.40 in change for a total of $95.40. And finally we have bag C. This is for the drink machine at our final location. So the drink machine here brought in $61 cash, $49.85 in change for a total of $110.85. So all together for one month, these four vending machines made $678.65. That's definitely some growth from my last one month collection video. If you haven't seen that, be sure to click that video at the end of this one. And in my hand is the collection from my drink machine that wasn't featured in this video. If you're interested in seeing how much that drink machine made for the month of February, then be sure to click that video also at the end of this one. If you enjoyed anything about this video, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you'll be locked in with me and the Hustle fam. As always, happy hustle. Right there might get you whack. One false move might get you whack. Put a hole straight through your cap. No cap. I am that A, like the alphabet.